Hi, this is Amy at the Alti store. We have started this new series where we're building on the basics of solar electricity. So we just did a video talking about rates, amps, volts, watts, and resistance. So if you missed that, check out this video and then come back to this one. And we're going to talk about quantity, amp hours and watt hours. All right, so let's get started. Amp hours is the quantity of amps over time. So that is if something is drawing an amp of current for an hour, it will have used one amp hour in an hour. So that is different from how fast, that's how much. So just like the water analogy we've been using, if you have water flowing for one gallon per minute, after one minute, you will have one gallon of water. So batteries, specifically deep cycle batteries, they are rated by their amp hour capacity. How many amp hours can they store in the battery? But amp hours alone doesn't tell you the whole story. Watt hours is the quantity of watts over time. Now one watt for one hour is one watt hour. Now that takes both volts, amps, and then hours time into consideration and that gives you your watt hours. So I mentioned having a 100 amp hour battery. If you don't know the volts, you don't know the total capacity of that battery. So if you also multiply it by the volts, you have say 12 volts times 100 amp hour, that tells you it's a 1200 watt hour battery. So, so that gives you the whole picture of, of its energy capacity. How much energy can that battery store? Now you'll also see the term kilowatt hours. Say your electric bill, it comes in how many kilowatt hours you've used a month. A kilowatt hour is simply 1000 watt hours. So to give you an idea of how much energy a kilowatt hour is, a modern refrigerator uses about one to maybe one and a half kilowatt hours a day to run it. So another example is the average US household uses about 900 kilowatt hours a month. So that's 900,000 watt hours a month. So just again to compare watts versus watt hours because very important to differentiate the two. Um, we're actually switching over to a car analogy. How fast is the car driving? If you're going 60 miles per hour, um, if you go that speed, 60 miles an hour for an hour, you'll have driven 60 miles. So the miles per hour is like the watts and the miles is like the watt hours. So how fast and then how much. So now I'm going to use a light bulb to give some examples here. Now I'm going to do a little bit of math. People complain I do too much math in my videos. We just need to do a little bit of basic multiplication to be able to figure out the difference between watts and watt hours. So let's say we've got a 10 watt light bulb. One 10 watt light bulb uses 10 watt hours in one hour. If you had five of these 10 watt light bulbs, they would use 50 watt hours in one hour because five of them times the 10 watts on each times one hour gives you 50 watt hours. If you had that for two hours, it would give you 100 watt hours that it used. So this comes into play when we start figuring out what size system that, that you're going to be needing. How much energy do you need to make because how much energy are you using? Now, when we're talking about planning our system and we're talking watts, it is important to know what makes up the watts. You need to know the volts and the amps. So again, amps equals watts divided by volts. So we take that 10 watt light bulb we were just talking about. But if we look at the volts as well, we're going to see very different amps in that circuit. So that's going to affect things like wire size and, and things like that. So we need to make sure that we're aware that the current is going to be different 
for a 12 volt system versus a 120 volt system. So if we take that 10 watt lamp bulb and say it's 120 volts, 10 watts divided by 120 volts equals 0 0.08 amps. So very little current draw, but lots of volts. So a lot of pressure, but not a lot of flow. Now we take a 10 watt light bulb that's running on a 12 volt circuit. Again, 10 watts divided by 12 volts equals 0.83 amps. So you see that the volts are one tenth of the 120 volt one. So that means the amps are 10 times higher. So you're going to have 10 times more current running through that wire if it's a 12 volt circuit versus a 120 volt circuit. So these equations are really going to become important when you're figuring out what size wire, what size um, breakers or fuses. So really you need to know your volts, your amps, and your watts to figure all of this out. So now that you know the basic terms that are going to be involved in planning your solar system, your next step is going to be to create a loads list to figure out how much you need, how many solar panels, how many batteries, what size inverter, all of that. So your watts, your volts, your, your watt hours, they all come into play here. So we're not going to get into detail, details um, in this video. We did do a video on how to use our loads list calculator and a few tips on how to figure out how much energy you need to put into your loads list. So we'll throw a link to that up there. And um, so this shows you how everything is related yet different. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share and be sure to subscribe to our channel. So we'll let you know when the next video from the series comes out. And don't forget to go to altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.